January 2021 manifestation results. Today I'm bringing you the results of my fourth month in business where I share my monthly manifestation results with you. In this report I am going to share my evidence log of what has been manifesting this month including everything I manifested or achieved during the month, my income report, my updates on my goals, my deepest feelings about how the month went, analyse what worked, what didn't work, what needs to be improved, how I can be more productive and did I stick to my commitments. Now I have created a blog post with a lot more detail on this report. I have got information on why I'm sharing my goals and my income report and lots more details about all of the different categories that I'm going to share with you and what they mean and how you actually find this information for yourself if you are going through this yourself. So I am just going to share my results with you and you can go over to the blog post to get more detail about how to actually do it. So let's start by looking at the success evidence log. So let's start at, by looking at the section within the success evidence log of the manifestation milestones that I met. So here is everything that I manifested this month. Yet again, all of my marketing channel followers increased. Let's break this down. So my Facebook likes increased from 64 to 67. Not a huge increase, but still an increase that I'm going to celebrate. Pinterest followers increased from 563 to 749. I like that kind of increase. That looks good to me. Instagram followers increased from 124 to 125. So you can probably say that that really didn't make much of an impact whatever I'm doing on Instagram. So I probably need to up my game on Instagram. My TikTok followers increased from 783 to 795. My YouTube long content account followers increased from 25 to 30. My YouTube long content account total watch hours in the last year was 20 hours. My YouTube shorts account followers increased from 59 to 77. My YouTube shorts account total watch hours in the last year was 50. So my shorts account is doing much better than my long content account. So I probably need to combine them both at some point. My podcast downloads increased from 76 to 87 for the last 30 days. And my total podcast downloads increased from 140 to 227. My email subscribers increased from 457 to 569, which I'm really happy about that. My website visitors increased from 6,548 to 9,197 last month. So that is a really massive increase. So I'm very happy about that as well. My blog traffic increased from 20, uh, sorry, 10,530 page views to 14,334 page views. So that again, that's a really big increase. My blog total traffic of all time since I started this blog has gone up from a total of 45,000 to 59,000. So I'm very happy about that, which means my total audience size for the month increased from 8,647 to 11,618, which I am very happy about. And during this month, I sold 25 different products for my Kath Kyle brand. So now let's take a look at my tons done and success rituals. So here's what I achieved this month. I created 16 videos, 16 podcasts, 17 blog posts and social media posts for Facebook, Instagram and Pinterest and TikTok to promote my blog post and my content for the months of February and March. I did my morning and my evening routines every single day. I did my monthly stamp planning, my monthly reflection, which is this process that you're seeing right now, my content planning session and my financial review sessions during this month. I set up re-engagement and unsubscribe email automations to keep my list clean. I amended my daily stamp journal, which is a free gift for stamp gold book customer. 
and I added my book to my homepage. I created a new monthly planning bonus for customers of my Stamp Goals book. They are getting luckier and luckier by the day. There are so many bonuses in that bundle now. I also created a new success words sheet as a bonus again for my customers of my Stamp Goals book. So again, if you've not got that bonus, then you are definitely missing out because my book is a very, very reasonable price and the bonus is worth $297, although it's probably more now because I keep adding stuff to it. I also started new giveaways for my email list. I created a new email template and I added some quotes and infographics to it to make my emails much prettier and more interesting. I wrote all of my launch emails and planned my next launch. And I also created a manifestation milestones free gift for my email list. Now let's move on to mindset breakthroughs. So here are the mindset breakthroughs and insights that I've had this month. And I'm not going to elaborate on them very much because there are so many. I have had a massive amount of mindset breakthroughs this month, but hopefully just even a very short snippet might help you shifting something in your mind, it might just be something that you need to hear. So here we are, here are my mindset shifts. I have noticed that I don't react to problems in the same way anymore. My website went down and I just thought, I'll get this problem sorted, no big deal. Just be calm in a crisis, which I was really proud of myself for that. Um, I noticed that nature is abundant and I have everything that I need. I was feeling so blessed that I can produce content so quickly because I started off feeling like I'm not getting enough done and then I thought I'm actually getting loads done. I should be grateful that I get my content done so fast. I feel totally in control of my personal money, which is good. I feel very grateful for my high net worth. So these are things that I'm telling myself to boost my money mindset as my income for my revenue for this new business is not what I would wish it to be. So I am boosting what I think about money by reminding myself that I'm really actually really good with money and I have actually loads of money. So I don't need to worry about money at all. I'm enjoying spending time homeschooling the kids instead of worrying about getting less done. So what happened in January was yet again, the schools closed, coronavirus went sky high. Um, they said probably at least for the next two or three months, you're going to be homeschooling your kids again. So I thought, right, cut my, my day in half, my working day in half. Although I do save time not driving them to school, which does take about two hours of my time. So I had that time, which I could dedicate to the kids homeschooling and a little bit more. So I dedicated my mornings to the homeschooling and my afternoons to my business. But I did, I, I am cutting out the amount of work that I'm able to get done because I'm focusing on homeschooling. So instead of worrying about it, I decided that I was just going to enjoy this extra time with them and I really have enjoyed it. It's been really, really good. So that's been a nice blessing. Um, when I, I have been giving myself a rest, I've been having a very difficult month, to be honest, in January and I haven't been sleeping that well. So that means I've been very tired a lot of the days. So I actually had a couple of naps, which is not something I normally do. And um, there was a time where I went, the first nap I gave myself, I decided, no, I'm gonna put myself first. I don't have to pick up the kids. I'm gonna go and have a nap, which is something I wouldn't normally be able to do because I have to go and get the kids from school. So I didn't have to do that. So I thought, right, I'm going for a short nap. I thought, I'm just putting myself first. I really need some self-care right now. And then I woke up to a big sale. So uh, that was really nice. And this often happens when I give myself exactly what I need. Um, this period of my income feeling a, a bit static is actually a very good contrast because it helps me to know what I truly desire and stay committed to it. In January, I actually had some really bad news about my family. Two of my uh, very, very close family members had horrendous diagnosis, which meant they ended up in hospital, both at the same time, both having surgery, both very, very, very um, difficult, serious surgeries. And 
I thought, what on earth is going on? Um, so, yep, my um, I was quite upset the whole of the month. But trying to take a positive out of it, it made me focus on what was truly important to me. And therefore, I dropped my focus on money. So that was good. Um, I also felt this month that I needed a reminder that I'm actually helping real people because I have been so detached from real people for such a long time because I've had an online business, I've had a passive business, I've had a business where I sell things while I'm sleeping. So I've also had a an assistant who deals with my customer services for my previous businesses. So I haven't actually been in contact with my customers for a very long time. And um, although I don't do that with the Kath Kyle, I do actually um, respond to all of my own emails and all my social media messages with the Kath Kyle business. But because it's a fairly new business, I'm not getting absolutely loads. So therefore, I'm not getting loads of engagement. And I have um, been having very limited time and I've been spending that creating content rather than engaging with people. So I feel like I have not been really engaging with real people for a long time, especially with being in lockdown. I can't remember the last time I had a conversation with somebody. So this is an issue and this is something that I'm thinking. I want more conversations. I want to help real people. I want to work with people. Um, so yep, yeah, I'm thinking about doing these kind of offerings and really, really helping people because I'm really actually very excited about doing it. Um, uh, a hard thing that happened this month um, was I had some business friends, some colleagues turn against me when I needed them the most, when everything was really um, going wrong, it felt like. Um, I was really upset about it, but I, I managed to process my feelings and let, let go of it and moved on and told myself when one door closes, another one opens and that this particular group of friends obviously weren't right for me and where I'm headed. So I, I feel good about that now. Um, I am really grateful that I find self-love easier than most people. Uh, most people really struggle to put themselves first and what they need. They really struggle to focus on their desires. Um, but I find it really easy now, especially after the long periods of illnesses that I've had and the reflection periods I've done. So I'm really grateful for that. And therefore, it is easier for me to have what I desire in life. So um, that is a, a, a positive. Um, I've been in January, I was getting into meditation in a big way and it was working wonders for me. Um, because of my, my family's health problems, I read the book, You Are the Placebo by Joe Dispenza and I can't believe I haven't read it before. It's been on my wish list for such a long time and it absolutely blew my mind. So if you are thinking about health or you know people with health problems, I highly encourage you to check that book out. It, it is absolutely fantastic. So I was doing a lot more meditation. I was doing, making sure I was doing a meditation every single day and I really needed it because I was feeling tired. I was struggling to get out of bed. I was struggling to focus my mind on positivity and my normal morning routine. So meditation was just perfect for me. I realized that I needed to focus, although this is something that I teach, so obviously I should realize it, but of course you need to keep on reminding yourself of even the things that you teach over and over again, because we just keep forgetting for some reason. Um, I needed to remind myself to focus on my giving goals, not the gratitude goal. Focus on the cause, not the effect of receiving money. So focus on who you are helping and not the actual money, because I've been learning a lot about money mindset and um, kind of thinking, feeling a bit frustrated at my own money situation. But then this was a big reminder to me focus on who you are helping and not on the money. Um, another uh, mindset shift I have was that um, to remind myself that I am both the creator and the receiver, so I should act like it. Um, I also realized that, well, realized again for the numerous, numerous, numerous time that um, challenges are a good thing. They are a good sign that big things are in your future because if you weren't somebody who could handle challenges, then you wouldn't be able to cope with the big things that are destined for you in the future. So if you are experiencing a lot of challenges right now, celebrate because it means that big things and good things are coming to you. Another mindset shift is that I love my work so much that I would and have done it for free. 
and I'm so grateful that I can do this work that I love without feeling desperate for money. I don't need to feel desperate because all of my needs are taken care of. So why don't I just relax and enjoy it because I get to do what I love. My emotions surrounding money need to be calm and grateful, not excited and relieved because those people who have money all the time are calm and grateful, they're not excited and relieved. And I realized that I had different emotions surrounding my different businesses when it came to my sales. Like the, the other passive businesses, when I get sales in, I'm like, oh yes, there's another sale, there's another sale. Oh yes, 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 that's, that's to be expected. That's normal, here's all the sales, that's normal. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful, pray for these people. But the sales that were coming in for my Kath Kyle business, I was like having a real relief. I was like, oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness there's a sale. Yay, there's a sale, a sale, whoo. And um, and I just realized that I think it was because I am I was actually worrying about doing this particular report and sharing this publicly because I find it embarrassing, to be honest with you, to share results that I would rather that they were much bigger. So um, I realized that I was having all of the wrong emotions around these particular sales from my Kath Kyle brand. So I need to be, to have the same kind of um, emotions that I do for my other businesses. Oh yes, to be expected. Thank you very much. I'm grateful. Pray for them. Um, another, another shift was you don't own money. Let it go and see it bless others and it will circle right back to you again. I like to do that, especially as we're buying a house, we're paying for so much stuff. So I'm visualizing it all going back and circulating back to me. Um, at some point in this month, during <laughs> a period of maybe getting desperate about money again, I decided to put ads like banner ads, which are other people's ads on my Kath Kyle blog to make more of an income. Because my traffic is getting quite high now, I figured I could probably make a hundred to two hundred dollars per month extra for putting other people's ads on my blog. So I started off the process and it ended up being a very stressful process. And it's never been stressful before. I've got banner ads on all of my other blogs, which is one of my income streams, and it does very well for me because my traffic's very high and it doesn't seem to affect anything on those blogs. Um, but I decided that I was going to do the same, but for some reason it just ended up being very, very stressful. It didn't work. Something broke. I got a very bad feeling about it. I thought my, my site was going to come crashing down and then I just took off the ads and I just thought, no, I'm not doing that. And I just realized that I never wanted other people's ads on my personal brand blog. I never planned to do that. I never wanted it. I wanted my brand blog just to be mine and I controlled it and it was only my stuff and nobody else's and 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 that was it and I am really glad that I took them off and I stayed true to my desires rather than trying to claw every last little bit of extra income that I could out of this site because I just need to stay true to what I want because that is more important to me than an extra hundred to two hundred dollars at this stage um, I did actually have another book planned that I wanted to write, but after publishing Stamp Goals book, I was kind of a little bit burned out from creating books, to be honest with you. The writing the book was easy, but the getting the book published seemed really boring and a little bit stressful. So I didn't really want to rush into doing this at, again quite so soon. I was, I had another book ready to go. And I just don't, I think I'm going to hold back from it. I just don't feel good about doing another book right now. So I'm sticking to what I find fun at the moment, which is creating courses. I'm really loving creating courses. So I'm going to do more of that. I created a new manifestation for myself um, and uh, like an audio track that I listen to, which is my voice walking me through a manifestation process during a meditation. And I visualized money pouring down um, from the sky and on that day I woke up to a lot more sales than normal so I was very happy about that. Um, another another thought that occurred to me this month was never think that you can't afford anything. Ask instead how can I afford that? And blockages, let's talk about blockages. I have had several blockages that I have felt have been holding me back this month that I have now released and 
um, these blockages were things like feeling like I have to have published 100 pieces of content to be taken seriously by anyone. And I just realized, why am I clinging on to that? Just because I decided that that was my marker of, um, at that point, I'm going to be uh, look look again at my content and decide whether or not I want to continue with that. For some reason, I had it in my head that you won't be successful until you've published these 100 pieces of content. Um, my accent, again, has reared its ugly head as a blocker to my success. The need to outsource more of my work, um, feeling like that has been blocking my success because of my limited time, um, not having enough time, not engaging with anyone, not being on other people's podcasts, not having other people on my podcast, which are two things I really don't desire to do right now, but they keep on popping into my head. Pe you know, I keep hearing this voice saying, this is what is stopping you from being successful. And my, my desire is just not there. Um, so I've let go of that. And I have spent um, too much time worrying about my family and their health problems this month. So I've done a lot of letting go about that, about praying and manifesting good things for them. So now let's move on to the gratitude goal update. So here is the income that I made this month in the Kath Kyle brand. I made a total of $38 this month. I sold 12 of my stamp goals book and I sold one of my time expander training my revenue decreased again from the previous month, which is not good. And to be honest, I really don't want to report this income because it's gone backwards and it is next to nothing. But I did make a commitment to do this and I think it will help us all in the future when we can look back and see that things didn't take off in the way that I wanted them to straight away. So what did I do differently this month? I did have a launch this month, but I focused on promoting my new book to my very tiny email list. And therefore, I did make quite a good number of sales for the size of my list. But as I priced my book at next to nothing, and I literally give it, gave it away to lots of people, I hardly made any money at all. I only launched the one product and I did not launch anything else that was a higher ticket amount. At the moment, I just don't feel like I have enough products to promote more than one product per month, but I do see this changing in the near, near future. So it's just something I just have to keep working at to get more products so that I can do more promotions. Now let's look at the giving goal update. I didn't actually focus on creating anything new for sale this month at all because I am moving house next month and I wanted to get two months worth of content done in one month. So whatever time left over next month after moving house can be spent on creating a new product. But I did get two months worth of content done in one month. So I'm very happy with that. However, I did get a bit bored of just creating content and nothing else as I really love creating new products and all of the marketing that goes along with that. So halfway through the month, I decided to create a new freebie opt-in that I have been excited about for a few months now. My new opt-in is called my Manifestation Milestones Board Pack and I am so excited about it because I just love using my board to manifest my business growth and I can't wait to see what everyone else thinks of it. And I just didn't want to wait to promote this so I decided to start running Facebook ads to this free gift straight away because I just wanted to get it into the hands of people straight away. Now let's look at my growing goal update. I am so happy that I have successfully released my fears around not having enough money. And I actually created another content piece showing you exactly how I did this. So go and check that out as well. For the first time ever, I realized that I wasn't dreading the first of the month, which is the day that I normally do my finances. And I just knew that everything would be okay because it always is okay. And even when one of my income streams on my other passive blogs took a big decrease, which is actually normal at this time of the year, I just knew I'd be okay and that my revenue would definitely cover all of my expenses, including my own salary. And sure enough, one of my other income streams was higher, so that made up the shortfall. And this pattern has been happening every single month for as long as I can remember, for years. 
When one thing has gone down, something else has gone up. And I used to get so frustrated with this, but something changed in me this month. And I actually laughed as I was totaling up my income and I said, God, I have finally got the message. I am no longer annoyed at my static income. You have made your point loud and clear that you are in control of my revenue and I surrender my revenue to you with gratitude. And this was a humongous breakthrough for me. Immediately, I received a large sale and a lovely message via email about why my customer had bought my product for my new Kath Kyle brand. So that was a major turning point for me. Now let's look at success signs. I was very happy that my book got in the hands of a lot of people and I did several promotions where I gave it away for free and I didn't make as many sales as I thought I would but I also feel like my lack of initial reviews wasn't great and now, now I wish that I did have a launch team to leave me some reviews to encourage other people to buy it. I actually, I did actually then get one review on Amazon.co.uk and another one on Amazon.com, but the reviews are not combined for some reason. Now let's look at success blockers. Fear of lack of money didn't help. Having a launch where I didn't sell anything that would lead to much revenue for me didn't help me to make revenue, of course. And that that sounds obvious, but for some reason I just thought that other people would go and buy my products even though I hadn't really mentioned them very much. So what was still missing was me taking time to engage with people every day. Now let's look at my feelings about this month. I felt really good that that people were getting my book in their hands but I felt bad that it didn't lead to much revenue for me. I was really tested with my static sales again this month, but I responded really well to this test, however, and I have been using my revised daily stamp journal to work through my feelings every day, which is very helpful. Here are some improvements that I want to make with my business. Not worrying if each content piece takes longer than one day so I can stop one hour earlier and do my emails and reply to comments. My future business needs me to start coaching. I really feel like I want to start coaching. I thought I just wanted to sell passive products, but now I really want that extra connection with people. I really want to help people and know that I'm helping people individually. My future business also needs me to create more products to sell, to raise my prices, and to also outsource more of my work. Time savers. Here are things I can do to save time. Delegate content creation document to my assistant. Delegate more of the content formatting process. Create shorter content because my content is still ending up being far too long. Let's look at my commitments. I am still committed to creating two content pieces per week. I am still committed to investing a certain amount of money each month in the stock market and regularly increasing this investment. I am committed to spending one hour engaging with people every day. I am recommitting to one hour of personal development time in the morning and one hour in the evening. So now that you have seen how valuable it is to do a monthly reflection to keep yourself accountable and resolve any negative thinking that you have surrounding your business, you might be wondering how you can start doing your own monthly reflection sessions. And I have created a stamp reflection workbook for business growth to help you work through these questions yourself. And this stamp reflection workbook is available as part of the free stamp book bonus bundle for those who purchase my stamp goals book. And while you're waiting for your copy of Stamp Goals book to arrive, you can start taking practical action in your business today. One of my biggest secrets to success is to set up regular routines that I call success rituals for performing manifestation techniques that I use to manifest massive business success. And a lot of people ask me how to set up success rituals for business manifestation that aren't overwhelming or too time consuming. So I have created a business manifestation toolkit 
where I share all of the tools that you need for manifesting business success that easily slot into your morning, evening and monthly routines and also your working day because we can't manifest business success unless we're actually working on our businesses. And this easy to use toolkit includes all of the tools, techniques and routines that I use consistently to manifest success in my business. And you can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash manifestation toolkit. Make sure you don't miss my next podcast episode by subscribing to my podcast Manifest Business Success so you don't miss that. I can also send you an email when my next piece of content has arrived and I give away so many more free gifts to my email subscribers and you can subscribe by opting into any of my free gifts such as my free Manifestation Milestones board pack. This pack is the ultimate motivator to help you manifest more business success. And from this one pack, you can create both a vision board and an achievement board to help you feel good about what you've already achieved and manifest even more. And this Manifestation Milestones board printable pack will help you recognize and celebrate all of the amazing milestones and goals that you are already achieving in your business, which is so exciting. And I also have a full video showing you exactly what it looks like and how to make it. And you can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash milestones. And now it is your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.